wait for the focus. Wait for it. Oh. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. I'm Sarah and I'm just one half of the couple behind the Dashboard Living travel blog. And this is gonna be a funny sentence. This is going to be my very first fashion haul on YouTube. Eh, that sounds ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous to me. I can't even say it with a straight face. Eva, can you see the cat's expression? I feel that that's how I feel about fashion. If it were up to me and all things were equal and everybody would take me seriously if I did this, I would wear uh, leggings and an oversized hoodie all 99.999% of the time. In an effort to come across as a professional, I have decided to try and put a little more effort into my look, and I couldn't do it by myself. So I recruited some help and have teamed up with Idle Clutch Boutique in Toronto, Nova Scotia. Their stuff's also available online, so if you're not local, you could still shop there. It's my first travel haul, and I'm kind of excited. Not a travel haul, it's a fashion haul. Oh Jesus, this is not gonna go well. Also, I'm used to having Brent on camera with me now, and I feel very strange doing this without him, but I feel that he wouldn't be interested. Um, so gentlemen, probably you won't be interested either. This one's for the ladies, for sure. I have a whole bunch of wedding events coming up over the next few weeks. Brent and I are getting hitched. Um, so we have bridal showers and engagement parties and stagettes and stag parties and get togethers and all of that stuff. So I told the girls I needed things that looked cute, but that were also really easy to wear and comfortable because we're on the road a lot. We travel a lot, even in our off season, which it is right now, we're still traveling a ton. So everything had to be wearable, washable, and easy to travel with. This little sweater, oh, this is gonna be hard for you guys to see. So it has some cute details, it's super thin material, I love that, and it also has a little gather in the back to give it just a little bit more detail. I would pair this <laughs> with leggings. Okay, maybe also jeans, and I was thinking I could wear this one with a pair of jean shorts or, um, white shorts when we go south because it's super thin, which I really like about it. I also have one of their sweaters on. I love the fit of this. It's so funny because this is a piece that I would not have picked out because on the rack, I thought it looked kind of boring, but when I put it on, it fit so well and it's nice length. It's just the right length. It hangs nicely and it's a sweater that you can wear with leggings, which of course is my favorite, but it also has this like super cute arm detail. So I really love that. A lot of their stuff have these, they're casual, easy pieces to wear, but they also have neat details. Look at me talking like I know something about fashion. Next up, also lightweight, also easy to wear with leggings. Again, it has a really cute detail. So it looks like it's tied, but it's not. I did not tie that. The shirt comes like that. And um, again, you can wear it with leggings. This is what I said. I said, girls, give me things that I can wear with leggings and tights, but that also still look like I put a little effort in. This guy is something that I've been eyeing for a long time at the shop, and it is a little vest. You can't see it that well. I feel like I'm in a bad position, but I'm gonna give you guys pictures of all of this to look at too, but this is something I always think looks really great on other people, but I've never actually tried to wear one, but I went for it and I got it and I'm really happy with it. So far I've worn it twice and two people went out and bought this vest after I showed it on the blog. So take that to all the people who say I know nothing about fashion. Do you know what happened to me? <laughs> I think this is where it all where it all went wrong. I think I was in like grade five. And I thought I was really cool. <laughs> At the time, I still do. <laughs> so some things never change. And I put on like leotard, white leotards, not leggings, not tights, leotards with the feet. You remember those, right? 
They were white leotards, and on top of those white leotards, I put on floral patterned denim shorts. I know, you're wishing that I still had that outfit. And so I go to school and I think I'm all good to go. And this boy that I kind of had a crush on at the time marches right up to me. I forget, we got in some argument. We were disagreeing about something, which I know will shock all of you that I could possibly disagree with people on things. Anyway, he was like, who dressed you, your mother? I feel that that was the moment that I realized that I needed fashion help, that I knew nothing. And from then till now, I haven't gotten any fashion help. So really, my style hasn't changed much. If anything, it's regressed, but I'm making an effort. I love, love, love this tank top. I'm going to live in this. Now, on the website, it looks like it's a dress, but girls, it's a tank top and it has a super cute little fringe bottom. It's light pink and it has a really cute back detail. Sorry, my tags are still on, that's inappropriate. And I think that's gonna look awesome with my vest. I can't wait to pair these two things together. That's the plan. I'll show you. I'll show you in the pictures what I need. The other thing I really like about Idle Clutch and, and boutiques like that is that they don't bring in a ton of the same um, pieces. You know, growing up in a small town, often you'd pick up something at the mall and then 25 of your friends would have the same thing because there's not that many places to shop. So that's another thing I really like about boutique shopping. So this is my next piece. It is a super lightweight t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt. It has navy blue sleeves and a heart on the front, but get ready for the best part. Sleeve, front of the sleeve, back of the sleeve. It has a sparkly elbow patch and I love it and I can't wait to wear all the sequins. Hmm. Maybe other people like wearing jean shorts and such when it's hot, but I don't. I don't like that. I like to wear a dress. So, some things I love about this. The top is turquoise, which is a dashboard color. Oh, that was so unplanned, but it's great. And the bottom is this really nice floral pattern, but the best, two best parts. The first best part is that the bottom, what's it made out of? And I want things that you can wear that won't look a hot mess when you get them wet if you're on the beach and that will dry fast. But the very best part about this dress, one moment please, here's the top of the dress, here's the bottom of the dress, look, pockets! Anything with a pocket is an A plus in my book. Another dress, another maxi dress, this one is strapless. For those of you who can pull off a strapless thing, it's that same material, it's that same like rayon material which when, again, when it was on the rack, I thought, it looks really nice. It looks super duper on the mannequin, but I don't think that's gonna look very good on me. I don't know, I just felt like it would show everything. I felt like it would just be just not good. However, I tried it on and it fit excellent. I loved it. This one also has pockets, a floral pattern is super, it hides everything. But what I loved about the top is that it sort of scoops up and around. As I said, I'm no fashion guru. I know zero when it comes to fashion. I just, I feel that I'm a very simple person. Like fashion wise, <laughs> that sounded wrong. And I do wear some jewelry. I like a long necklace just as much as the next girl. And I do like earrings, but I would never have picked out feather earrings for myself. Mainly because I bought feather earrings once and I just thought they looked ridiculous. Of course they were the big long ones and I don't know, like my neck is too short and I can't wear that stuff. Anyway, I wouldn't have picked these out, but the girls picked them out for me. Look, can you see? They're gold dipped earrings, feather earrings, and I wore them out the other day and literally every woman that I came into contact with complimented me on these earrings. So super happy with that. And because they were such a hit, I went back and I got the necklace, which I'm going to be wearing this weekend for my stagette. Oh, it will focus on the necklace, excellent. So I'm really, really happy with those two pieces. I didn't want to wear them together because I felt that it would be too matchy-matchy. 
You fashion bloggers can let me know if I'm right or wrong about that, but I feel like you can't wear matching earrings and necklace. Is that a thing? Okay, this is the other thing I wanted to show you guys. Is this super cool beach throw. They have two versions of this at the boutique. The towel, which is, you know, like towel material, <laughs> cotton, I don't know. And they also have this sort of, I don't know what material it is, like splash pant material? What would that be? What is that an actual material? And we went with this one. We went with this thin version because for two reasons. The first reason is we're traveling and we're traveling with a lot of stuff. So we don't have space in our bags for big, heavy, bulky towels. And the second reason we went this route is because this will dry really quickly. It folds up into this eeny weeny little ball of material. And then, this is the best, are you ready? It's a giant circle. A giant circle beach throw that you can put down on the sand, you can wrap it around your shoulders, you can wrap it around your waist. Are sarongs still a thing? I have no idea. Anyway, really excited to use this in Mexico and of course you guys are gonna see all about that. That's it. That's my very first fashion haul. I feel that it was not that successful. Not the clothes, but my own ability to describe the clothes. My own lack of knowledge when it comes to all things girly. <laughs> so I'm going to need some help in that department. If you're new to this channel, which most of you are because it's a brand new channel, this is not a fashion blog. We are doing a fashion section because I think it's relevant to traveling. So we want to sort of put ourselves together and look moderately um, not ridiculous <laughs> while we're traveling. I won't say good. I feel like good is a loose term, but we want to be put together and we also want to be comfortable and I like fashion. I'm just not good at it. So that's what this is about. But this is a travel channel. We make travel videos to hopefully entertain and inspire. My better half Brent is not here, but he will be present on all of our other videos that don't have to do with just girl things. And I sure do hope you guys liked this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And you can find us on all the other platforms, primarily Facebook. That's where we do most of our stuff. So head on over there. We do a live show. We do tons of giveaways. It's a fun place to be, if I do say so myself. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm gonna be back. And I hope this video wasn't a massive fail. But we shall see. Bye-bye.